Today, we're at the Commons at Honey Creek, assisted living community that I've had the pleasure of visiting so many times that I feel like I'm part of the family. And what's great about it is this is a place for your family to learn more about today. And I'm joined by Erin Brown, the executive director. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. You know, as we talk about your facility, your community, we know that people are looking and seeking the opportunity to live in a great community like this. So when people are thinking about that next step, when they're thinking about maybe putting their family into this great community, what are some things that they would ask or consider asking when they're looking and investigating all of the wonderful things that you have here? Sure. So there are so many things to look for. Um, I always advise families when they come to, you know, go out into the community and see what else is out there because I'm very confident that they will always find their way back. But we are one of the only communities that allows our residents to have pets. And sometimes that's a very important, um, it's a very important piece of their life and something they're not ready to lose. So inviting them to care for their pets in their home here is a, is a big plus. Another thing that people really enjoy is that we are all on one level, so we don't have any stairs or elevators in the building. It's very accessible all the way around. But I would always encourage families to think about what's important to them and important to their loved one and just make sure that that community can meet their needs appropriately. For the person out there who's ready to take that step, whether it be for themselves or their family member, what are some important questions that they should be asking? I mean, clearly you've already mentioned pets, mm -hmm. the one level, but are there other questions as part of this process that you would say to someone, no matter where you're going, these are things you should be asking? Certainly. I would always encourage everyone to go for a tour. Um, so go out to the community, take a look around. Is the staff happy to be there? Are the residents happy? Um, you can do some online investigation also. Has the community been recognized in the community um, for any awards? Do they have, what are their, their ratings online? Um, Facebook ratings, Google ratings, what kind of feedback have they gotten from the, from the greater community? That's some really good advice and really good tips. And there are also those who, as, as I mentioned, it could be the individuals looking, but it could be the children of the individuals mm -hmm. looking. And so I think there's always that perhaps hesitation or concern about what's the next step for my mom, my dad, my grandparent, perhaps. So when we talk about the kids, what about their perspective as to what the community will be like? I think it's very important for the family to um, be on board and be supportive. It's a it's a huge life decision. Um, so the, the prospective resident is going to need the support of their entire family and their children. But lots of times when family members are seeking a place for their loved ones, they always want to make sure that the services that are offered meet the needs of their loved one. What type of nursing care is provided? What is the meal situation like? Are they going to enjoy the meals? Activities, transportation, those are all things that are important. I have come to learn in my time spent here that everyone it seems joyful and happy that works here. Mm -hmm. And I think if I'm thinking about this, that's a big part of it is you mentioned that already, the smiles on the faces of the employees. Yeah. You all are their, their family now, their extended family. Mm -hmm. And so when people come here, do you encourage them to meet and greet with those who are working and, and making this their their place of employment? Absolutely. Uh, we often invite prospects to come for lunch if their tour is during lunch. A lot of times they come in and they have friends in the dining room that they've known from, from church or from different community activities. So we would always invite them to come and participate in an activity, come and play bingo for an afternoon, come and have lunch with us because we want for them to experience everyone's joyfulness and to well, become a part of that. Well, I think you've covered some really great uh, areas today, but if people are now seeking more information and they want to know more about the community here at the Commons at Honey Creek, what should they do? Where should they go? So they can always go online to www.asccare.com slash TCHC for the Commons at Honey Creek, but I would always encourage everyone to come in. We have a lot to offer and we're excited to show you. You have a wonderful community here. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time to talk with us today. It's the Commons at Honey Creek, a community where your family can seek information and find the perfect place for the person you love.